Great, we've got a brain that's juiced up and ready to think robotic thoughts. Let's take a look inside and see what it can do. Hold on a sec, I gotta juice up my brain. <laughs> okay, remember those sensors we mentioned? The ones robots use to measure and react to their surroundings? Some of them are actually inside of your robot's brain. Kind of like how some of our senses are in our head? Exactly! Now, unfortunately, we can't look inside the brain. Au contraire, narrateur. It's pronounced narrator, actually. I know, I was being clever. I got you covered in the brain scan department. Uh... Watch this, it's so cool. Impressive! Especially for someone so young. I read at a 56th grade level. Right. Well, inside the brain, we can see the processor that runs the robot's code. Connected to the processor are internal sensors, meaning that they are inside of the brain, rather than external sensors that are outside the brain and connected with wires. The internal sensors include a microphone that can sense sound just like your ears. I heard that. Oh boy. Uh. The brain also has a built-in compass that helps the robot sense direction. Then, there's a super handy sensor called a gyroscope, which is found in many devices like smartphones and tablets. You can think of a gyroscope as a sensor for balancing. Humans have this too, inside their head. It's called your sense of equilibrium, which helps with balance. Your robot's gyroscope detects when it's tilting forwards, backwards, or side to side. Hey, is that how this guy stays balanced? Most of the time? That's exactly right. Let's use the touch screen on the robot's brain to see how the gyroscope works. Go to the gyroscope screen and tilt the brain to move the circles around. When the circles line up, that means you have perfectly balanced the brain. See if you can balance your gyroscope and snap a pic of your balancing act. 